I'm from a small town, South Madrid, literally in the middle of Spain. I would say I'm from a humble family. My parents are both teachers. Their generation grew up with a very like good conditions in Spain. The dictator was over, democracy arrived, everybody got jobs, houses, cars, and one generation later, everybody's like going abroad. I decided to go to Ireland during the summer. I was up in Donegal for three months. Donegal was like great, but it was like really, really remote and insulated. So I said, okay, let's move to the city for a while. I was a bit shocked by all these fences and all those like areas without soul. You can't see Belfast like one thing. It's like a puzzle, you know, and you have to kind of like walk around and explore yourself and then try to put all the pieces together to get the general idea. I have met a lot of people who are kind of, oh yeah, why are you here and are you not like lying on the beach, you know, having your holidays? They have the idea still that Spain is kind of the paradise and they don't really understand why Spanish people, why we are here. It's really rare go in a pub in Spain and have like live music just while you are having your beer. Like people here is really talented. We should like listen to this carefully and like appreciate it because it's really, really good. No long ago someone told me, oh, how long have you been here? I said like oh, almost a year and she said, oh, you got Be Belfast accent. And I was like, is this a good thing? <laughs> but if you are able to understand people from Belfast, then you will be able to understand like all different kind of accents around the world. So I think it's a good thing. Aye. <laughs>